Hi students, so today we are going to do an experiment on osmotic fragility of erythrocyte practical. So here you can see we already prepared the centrifuge tubes with sodium chloride concentration, different concentration from 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.35, 0 0.4, 0 0.45, 0 0.55, 0 0.65, 0 0.75, and 0 0.85 of percentage of sodium chloride solution. All of these are 5 mil each of different concentration in each tube. So after that, we also prepared already a blood containing an empty coagulant tube. This one is the blood. So this one we already we are using a micro pipette and this one is 2 to 20 microlit micro pipette. So for this experiment we are we already set this one to 20 microlit because we need to draw 20 microlit of blood into each tube. So now we are going to take the zero point zero two mil, which is the twenty microlit, and then we're going to insert. So now we already insert the 20 microlit of blood inside each tube. So this is how it will look like currently. Next, we will use the paraffin film to cover the top to go into the centrifuge later. So this is how you put the paraffin. So you just stretch it a little bit to cover the test tube mouth and then and then you can cover it. Cover it nicely. Like this. So it's covered fully. So after we have already paraffin all the test tube, now we can mix the contents in each tube gently. And then for and then you need to repeat this step for every test tube and allow every test tube to sit at room temperature for 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes we need to mix the contents in each test tube again before sending to centrifuge. This one is the centrifuge we are using and for this experiment we are using the 2000 rotation per minute and by this you can adjust through this one. So this one is 20 rotation per minute times 100 that means 2000 and we are using for 5 minutes. So you open this one and this is how it looks like. So you just need to balance out. Looks like when balanced. So we put five here and five here. Close it. And then you just press start.
just take it out. So we will proceed with the, with the spectral photometer. So we can see the So let me just So here is the observation after centrifuge and this one 0 0.85 you can see there is pellet down there all right so you can observe from 0.55 onwards actually there are still the palette the blood is still intact but the lysis already starting to occur and whereas for the zero percent actually it's completely lysis already so after the centrifuge process now we proceed with the spectral photometer so before you can measure the other concentration we need to blank first. So we are using the distilled water as a blank. And we need to put the clear surface. Let's wipe it first. So when we are doing, the, you see there's an indication of the arrow here. So the clear surface must be facing the arrow. Because it's where it will be direction of the light pass through. So after that, you press zero. Alright, so you can see 0 0.000, then we can start measure the other concentration. So we will proceed with 0% first, 0%. process using the 0 0.1 and then as usual we will wipe it and measure and it will be continue the measurement until 0 0.85 so after the spectral, we already get the absorbency of each concentration. And from the absorbance itself, you can calculate the percentage of hemolysis by using this formula. Absorbance of test supernatant over the absorbance of 100% hemolysis.